G'day YouTubers, what's happening? Today I've got the new F4 Omnibus version 2. Um, got this one from Ready to Fly Quads. A uh, bit of a pain in the ass that story, but I'll leave that out for the video. Um, long story short, they finally arrived. Um, a quick little look for you. Main difference between the version two and the version one is uh, this has a SD card reader um, and a barometer, which is on the other side here. Just there. So, if you're only using beta flight, then uh, barometer is probably not much used here. But the SD card means you can uh, get all your black box logs. Um, apparently it's a new OSD chip as well, uh, upgraded version, can't remember the actual numbers, but yeah, meant to be a little bit better. Uh, imagine the, I have had a quick little play with one, but I find most flight controllers, uh, as long as they have the features you want, they all seem to perform pretty much the same. Uh, what else we got here? Um, the MPU 6000 gyro, so it's uh, probably the best gyro you can use at the moment uh, for beta flight anyway. Yeah, got all your current voltage, RSSI, buzzer, LED. Um, you can use it to do smart audio. What else? D shot, of course. Um, what else we got? IR pins for lap timing. Yeah, so it comes with version 3.1 of Betaflight on it. And the um, hex you want to use is the Omnibus F4 SD. So um, you've got to use a different hex, not just the normal F4 one. Yeah, so only thing that I have noticed that uh, might be a bit of an issue is actually some of these pins are labelled wrong, not over here. This top section here is uh, labelled correctly, but if you have a look at this bottom section here, some of these uh, pins are, are wrong. Like for instance, the ground here is actually the LED and the ground is on the outside. Um, also over here, these are wrong. Ground is normally ground is always on the outside pins. So except for these pins here, where all three of them are ground, the ground is actually on the outside. So and they're actually mislabeled on the board as well. So I don't know if you can see close enough there. But here down the bottom where it says a uh, VBAT. VBAT is actually the outside pin and the next one up where the RAM pin is actually on the outside so even though labeling on the board is a little bit incorrect so uh, you certainly wouldn't want to put VBAT onto this pin here you may short something out quite easily doing that so uh, yeah Definitely check things out with a multimeter before you start hooking up, especially VBAT and especially power and ground pins. If you're going to be hooking VBAT up to something, make sure it's the uh, the correct pin of a uh, actually blew up, shorted out one of these boards just recently. Not the Omnibus, but a, the um, Banggood Copy one. I accidentally put the VBAT onto the current and uh, safe to say that board no longer works so good idea to uh, make sure you check the bins correctly with a voltmeter and also check things like the instructions but uh, if you can check with the multimeter too for instance with these if you there's another VBAT pin over here somewhere so if you use your the multimeter on your um, I forget the mode, the switch mode, whatever it is. 
Um, if you use that to the other VBAT pin, you'll see that the VBAT's actually on the outside, not the inside. All right, so yeah, just a quick little look. Um, I set one of these up using INAV with everything turned on. I think processor usage was about 3%. Um, on beta flights with 8K, 8K PIDs, sorry, not PIDs, 8K, 8K loop time and gyro speed. Um, I think it put it up to, and I turned everything on, barometer, GPS, everything, just to have a look. I think it was running at 5% with everything on. So, plenty of uh, processor power. Anyway, guys, hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, comment. Anything you want to see or more information you want to know, anything like that, just uh, throw me a comment, ask some questions. And again, yeah, please like and subscribe for, uh, for more content. Thanks, guys, and I uh, hope you get some killer FEV.